So let's first of all discuss performance optimization. Can you first of all let anyone know how old you are right I'm now? I'm 57 years old. I'll be 58 in four months. So up to this point, what have you done with hormonal optimization, your physique and how you feel with uh, testosterone and all of that? I've been on testosterone for about 15 years. I'm a workout nut, so I work out six days a week, seven days. And um, that's been working for so many years and then it's, it's starting to taper off. So I needed something else in, to help me. So that's when you came in uh, to yes. see myself mm -hmm. and we have a lot of really cool things that we can accentuate the testosterone. And yes. before, were you doing it, was it just once a week at the time? Yes. Once a week. And we know that does not truly follow the natural rhythms of hormones. And you were on an anabolic, an aromatase yes. inhibitor, and mm -hmm. you're actually getting phlebotomy too, correct? Yes, correct. Because this uh, hemoglobin hematocrit, you know, would, raised, would, would yes. go up. So guys, whoever's watching this, that is old school. Sometimes it's needed, but that is not the current evidence-based uh, approaches to optimizing our physique, our body, our hormones. Mm -hmm. So we have actually had him readjust his testosterone mm -hmm. three times a week. Correct. We are cutting down on his uh, aromatase inhibitor, right. half, we're working on that, and he's cutting down on his anabolic steroid. But the key thing that we added was a human growth hormone secretagogue peptide called CJC1295 Ipamorelin, and you've been on this for about two months now, is that correct? Yes. Okay, and you really haven't changed anything up too much except we've worked nutrition, working with Renee, right. mm -hmm. our nutritionist, to dial that in. Right. Now, since you have been on the change-up regime of your testosterone and the human growth hormone uh, peptide, how, how have you been feeling? How have you been looking? I feel great. Okay. My weight was before was 200 to 203. We were from 188 to 193. And my abs are all out now, and uh, workouts are fantastic, and my energy's even a step up from what it was before. And I was always a high energy guy, it's even higher. That's great. So you've been able to have more lean body muscle right. mass. And without doing a whole lot of other changes, except just optimizing not only the testosterone regime and also adding the human growth hormone peptide, because we know as we age, that does decline mm -hmm. okay now do you have any key takeaway points for anyone that may be looking at optimizing their performance with what you're doing yeah come see him and <laughs> get on this stuff because it works but at my age you know this is um as Josiah and I talked about I want to be a 60 year old man here in a couple years to look 40 that was my plan and that's what he's doing for me and it's working I'm uh Proof positive. A living testament, right? There, I am. Yes. there we go.